All five adults in the Amalia compound case will stay behind bars until their trial. They are accused of training children to commit terrorist attacks while trying to recruit even more. News 13's Rebecca Atkins was in court today. There were hours of witness testimony from an FBI agent explaining what went on on the Amalia compound. We're now learning Janie LeVay, an immigrant from Haiti, was considered the leader on the compound. The agent testified she heard messages from God and would translate them for the rest of the people on the compound, including 11 children. The agent also says LeVay, along with other suspects, Siraj, Hujra, and Subana Wahaj, as well as Lucas Morton, believed that Siraj's deceased son, whose body was found on the property, would be reincarnated as Jesus Christ. And after he was reincarnated, they would take out attacks on institutions like schools, banks, the FBI, and other forms of law enforcement. That agent also says several of the children he interviewed talked about Siraj Wahaj wanting to create an army for jihad, which he described as a tax for Allah. Today, all five are facing conspiracy charges. Janie LeVay is also looking at a charge of possession of a firearm by an illegal alien. Today, the agent said she's been in the U.S. for 20 years. Another big question that came up today in court was a journal that described taking out terrorist attacks. Prosecutors and that FBI agent believe that the handwriting was from Siraj Wahaj. Rebecca Atkins, KRQE News 13. The five suspects were initially arrested on state child abuse charges, but a judge dismissed those charges against three of them. The Towns County DA says he does want to refile those charges.